Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, let me uh, take you to where it's snowing right now. Steamboat, Colorado, six inches in the last 24 hours. Uh, let's jump up to Alta. You had a foot in the last 24 hours. Now it is, it is clear and you're in waiting for the next storm system. And the next wave of snow hits the Wasatch, the Tetons in Colorado this afternoon, tonight into tomorrow. Still all part of storm number two. Um, let me just show you what my latest thinking is this morning. Headlines, bullet points, so storm number two continues into 111. The blizzard conditions in Oregon and Washington will wind down this morning, but it's going to be short-lived for Oregon. This next storm system will already push a frontal boundary right into the mountains, Timberline and Bachelor, and, and so all the snow and wind will re-ramp up. It'll come back into 111 and 112 with the next storm system. And like I said, the next wave of snow will hit uh, the Tetons, Wasatch, Colorado this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow. Storm number three comes in with an Arctic front. That's the one that's going to drape that boundary over Oregon, Idaho, and the Wasatch, the Tetons, and Colorado um, to produce and generate a lot of snow, cold, much colder air, high snow ratios, good aura graphics, so it's all coming together with that storm. The Wasatch numbers continue to trend up, 112 to 114 in particular. Wait till you see some of these numbers. It's just incredible um, the kind of snow production we're going to get in Little Cottonwood Canyon. Storm number four on the horizon, 116 to 119. The track's been shifting around, but it seems to favor the northern tier, and it's going to follow the jet orientation and dump that moisture down through parts of Wyoming and into Colorado um, late in that period, 118, probably 119. I'll show you what that looks like and the jet orientation as well. The northeast, you got a powerhouse storm. It's going to be winding down today on 110 with rain, snow, and wind at the big ski areas. Another very similar storm system, 112 to 113, with that same kind of 70 mile an hour wind, heavy snow at the onset over to rain, snow. And then it could be all heavy snow with a better track on 116 with a powerful storm system. So let me take you back and show you water vapor imagery at this hour. So there's our big storm number two dropping through the inner mountain, um, another storm behind it. And let me show you the Arctic front that's already showing up. You can kind of see the boundary right here. So that's the one that's going to be dropping down into the inner mountain and most of the west in general. That'll help us with snow production for sure. So that's the west. Let me show you the east. This is low level water vapor. So on this drier air, it's the same with the last map, drier air, um, red and orange. And your moisture is your whites, your blues, your greens. And this was this is a powerful storm system right here. High winds and it pushed unfortunately all that warm air up into the northeast changing a lot of that, uh, that snow over to a rain snow mix. But uh, the, the next storm system coming out of the west, which is right in here, will basically do the same thing. It's going to do the same thing and move into the northeast. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. So that's the situation by this afternoon with heavy snow in blue across most of the west. And there it is. The low drops out of California and heads towards uh, Colorado and New Mexico. And by the time we get into 112, it's already departed. It's out of Colorado. Here comes storm number three dropping north to south with the Arctic front. You can see how it drapes itself over Oregon, Idaho, Montana, and the Wasatch, or the, the Tetons initially. And then it drops south into the Tetons and into western and northwest Colorado. And that's where we're going to see some very heavy snow production. Look at the backside. That's where the area of low pressure is coming out of Oregon and California, um, swiping those areas with heavy snow. It's going to ride that boundary. Watch what it does. It breaks loose out of California and moves through Utah and Colorado and New Mexico, and then it departs late 114 into 115. And then we have to look up to the Pacific Northwest and Canada. Here comes that fourth storm system. Um, which it's going to take that snow and basically lay it on top of Montana, parts of north, central and northern Idaho, Wyoming, and eventually Colorado through 116 1 through 119. All right, guys, let me show you what the jet's going to look like here. So this is 111 tomorrow. At this point, you've got the low. You can see the trough spinning out of uh, uh, Colorado and, and New Mexico. That low is moving away. Arctic front will be coming south. Here's the jet on 113. At this point, you've got a co-location of the northern and southern branch of the jets. You've got an area of low pressure spinning up. You can kind of see it there um, through Oregon and California. You've got the Arctic front draped over many of those mountain ranges, cranking out heavy snowfall. By 117, that's, that's moved away. Now we're dealing with that final storm system dropping out of Canada. And with that jet orientation coming out of the west-northwest, that's going to focus that snow through Montana, down through Wyoming, and eventually into Colorado. 
All right, look at the wind here. So this is the wind forecast in Colorado on Friday. We're gonna have high winds in Utah and Colorado wrecking the snowpack on Friday with winds of 50 to 70 mile an hour. Um, in the tan color, that's 60 plus. So, I mean, you're dealing with big time wind on Friday as that, uh, that Arctic front comes in and drapes itself over. I mean, this is part of how we're gonna get these big totals. You're gonna get those orographics and those, those colder temps. So here's the, uh, the new grand total map. So the rest of today through 119, we're talking feet. Anything over in the purple magenta shade is a foot plus. That's all the mountain ranges, all the major mountain ranges of the west. In Colorado, again, western and northwest Colorado, we're looking, uh, we're looking really good. I've got two to three feet of accumulation through most places. Now, keep in mind, this is the sum total of essentially three different storms because you've got um, the storm into 111 and then another one 112 to 115 and potentially 116 to 119. So the numbers are big. Not all the snow comes at once. In Little Cottonwood, 90 inches, not out of the question. Um, 50 inches up around Park City Snow Basin, Deer Valley. Big, uh, big Cottonwood could certainly do 50 to 70. Uh, up in the Tetons, that third storm is a pretty significant storm, adding at least a foot. Um, so, and I'll show you, I'll do a breakdown of each period coming up, but you can see the grand totals. In most places, they're very impressive in feet. All right, here, let me break it down. So today, tomorrow, here's how much snow falls. So potentially another foot on the way once the snow comes back into the Wasatch this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow. Potentially six to eight on the way for the Tetons and another four to eight in Colorado. 10 to 20 for the Sierra and you can see the other numbers. All right, here's the second period. Arctic front, another storm system, 112 to 115. This is when we could crank out 50 to 60 inches through parts of Little and Big Cottonwood Canyon. And a foot plus in Colorado, one to two feet, we'll call it. And notice how once the front slips past the Tetons, the numbers go back down. So maybe another eight. But where that focal line is, where that front is draped, that's where we're gonna see that purple magenta shade all the way running back west into Oregon with big totals. So in, in the Sierra, I've got another 10 to 15, but that's above 8,000 to 8,500 feet with that second, that second wave. Here's 116 to 119, and this is what I was talking about. You can see how the jet sort of focuses the precip across the northern tier, and there are some big totals here. Now, it's likely this storm is going to continue to shift around a little bit, so... Um, these numbers obviously aren't set in stone at this point, but you can see the potentials there for big snow, Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, dropping down into uh, the central and northern mountains of Colorado. All right, one last stop, guys. Here it is in the northeast. So a little bit of leftover snow today, but then the next storm system, 112, 113, will lay down some snow. And, and there's quite a bit of snow in the forecast with that final storm system um, on 116. And there may be one more storm beyond that as well late in the period. So we're looking at the potential for some big numbers here in Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and New York. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning mountain weather update. We'll end on the grand total map here, which is absolutely incredible across uh, the west here through the 19th with three storm systems. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it and take care.